and her lovely Aurora. <laughs> Thank you very much, Sean. Yes, the combination of clear sky and a strong geomagnetic storm meant that we had a magical display of the Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights. Who needs to go to Iceland when you can capture photographs like this right here in our region? And we'll have more of your amazing pictures on tonight's Look East. As for this afternoon's weather, well, still quite a lot of cloud feeding in from the northeast and some showers too, but for many of us dry, some brightness and sunshine, temperatures close to average, but feeling quite chilly out there in a light to moderate northeasterly wind, which could touch fresh at times. So overnight tonight, yes, perhaps an odd shower, but for many of us, it'll be dry. And again, under clear skies, there's a good chance you will see the northern lights. But towards morning, be warned, we are expecting the cloud to increase. And this will help temperatures to rise. But underneath clear skies, well, tonight we could have temperatures again as low as minus two, perhaps minus three in some spots. So high pressure dominates again tomorrow and actually for the rest of the week and we keep this chilly north to northeasterly wind. So tomorrow we are expecting that wind to drag in quite a lot of cloud and as the day goes on quite a few showers too but not for everybody. Many of us again staying dry, some glimmers of brightness and sunshine despite quite a lot of cloud and again highs of about eight or nine Celsius and those light to moderate northeasterly winds. As I said, that high pressure keeping us largely dry right the way through, potentially until the beginning of next week. We could have a few showers on Wednesday and Thursday, and the trouble from day to day will be judging amounts of cloud and therefore how much sunshine we get. And we have still got a lot of cold nights on the way.